Okay, so once you've done that, you know, to weed out your cables there. First one you should plug in. It's the main 24 pin power supply connectors. And that one just goes in there. It might take a little bit of force. Sometimes you'll hear a click. Uh, it doesn't look like this one will click. Then also there's a four pin power connector that goes in usually over on this side. You don't want to forget that. You will burn out your computer if you don't. Yep, that's in. Okay. So now got here my this will be plugged in to the graphics card so I'll set that in right there and then I got this one came with the Molex and the uh, SATA connector I'll be plugging this well, I'm actually gonna use this one but I'm gonna plug hide this in there and then you gotta make sure you plug this into your drive connector. Just plug that in there. And then you just set that one right there. Make sure the cables aren't interfering with any of the uh, fans. Now I like I usually will this one doesn't have too many cables but if you're if you're uh, powered by some extra cables usually plug them into the uh, extra DVD drive slot is a good spot to store them or there's plenty of open space but you don't want to put them anywhere it's going to obstruct airflow because that will uh, be not very good for heating so I'm going to set that in there because it's going to because your power uh, for the uh, graphics card is going to be in there now I'm going to be installing the graphics card and uh, in case anyone was wondering for the hard drive to screw it in, most of them have an extra slot. You just uh, you would unplug the uh, SATA cable, unplug this SATA cable that would be the one that was plugged into the uh, hard drive itself. But um, to uh, put your everything, if you want to save everything that comes from from on your old computer, if you want to save it, then I would recommend getting a cloning system. But if your computer was like mine and came with a reinstallation disk for the operating system, uh, all you have to do is look up a video of how to install an operating system and you can just plug in your new hard drive. But if you want to keep the things from this, you can get a disk cloning software that will uh, completely copy the new hard drive onto here. You know, still be fast unless you had a virus or something, then you just want to go ahead and try to get a new operating system if you can. Now this one I might have to, yeah. I'm going to have to take out this old hard drive to install the hard to install that. So I'll come back when I've done that. Uh, I also had to take off this spot here to get access to, so I can take off, you have to take off uh, the uh, panels here that cover this side. Now, I'm going to be careful when you plug this, getting this in here. This cable's not being away. I also had to unplug the two cables that were sitting right there. As a precaution, now let's just slip in here. And then let's move it into position, and then you're going to want to press down on one end of it. And then just push it in place and you'll hear a snap and that means that it's in spot. Just make sure you're going to push on both sides. Make sure it is in all the way. And it is. So now, whatever it was I was holding this on, if it was, some of them have individual screws to hold these on. This one just happened to uh, have this one thing that holds them on all together, which I don't really like because then you, you take it off, the other ones become loose, could fall off. You just plug that, screw that in there. And now, 
I'm going to take this cable that you had before and you're going to want to plug it in if if yours does take a uh, graphic uh, PCI slot you just plug that in to wherever it goes alright so now that you got everything installed you're going to want to plug in your computer you can use the same power cable you used before if you got a new uh, And now uh, I have to use an adapter since I have a VGA. Plug back in anything you unplugged. Let me have to plug in this thing. Let's see. Wrong way. So I'm going to screw these on. Things in, in the butt. I'll plug this back in. So remember that now you don't use the old you don't use the old slot anymore. You're gonna use the one from your graphics card. You have to get an adapter or something. You're, you're only like a few dollars. Now let's try it among the trees. graphics card is going. I always like to do make sure test it with everything going up. And you got text on the screen. And so you'll see how much faster it will be now. This computer used to take me about 10, 20 minutes to turn on just to get to the login screen. So there we go. Much faster. You can see everything's going to be really big. It's because the uh, type of my super secret password. So now, uh, video controller. Steam, go away. And ask to install all sorts of software. I'll install it later. So now we can go check. Obviously, the CPU is working. So let's go check. Let's see what it says. And there we go. We got the Intel Core 2 processor upgraded from the Pentium processor. So that's the old Pentium processor. So it automatically installs. It automatically installs the um drivers for that. Uh, I already had two gigs of RAM. If you don't have RAM, uh, you should uh, you should get at least you need at least two gigs to play any games these days. So now, if you got an uh, Nvidia driver or an Nvidia graphics card, you want to go to Nvidia.com. Because in order for your graphics card to work, you have to get a new driver. So, the last thing you have to do, if you have a Radeon graphics card, you would go there, but you pick out, you go and you find your, uh, you go and you find your card, you get to pick out the ones you have. Have the 8800 GT for Windows Vista 32 bit. And then you see it gives you a thing, you just click download. And then it will download that, and that's quite a large thing, usually pretty big. So I'll get back when that's done. Alright, so that's finished. Open that up. So basically, what this is doing, if you don't know what a driver is, even though you have the uh, graphics card, the computer 
won't know how to actually use it unless unless you actually install the driver it's basically you know uh, basically a driver just tells it how to use it kinda like teaching someone how to use how to drive a car or how to ride a bike or something like that but I will come back once this is done so once you've done that your computer is going to restart or you're going to have to restart your computer and when you come back you'll notice everything is back to its normal size and when you right click on the screen you'll see what it says NVIDIA control panel or it'll be Radeon for uh, for you if you had a Radeon card so you can change your resolution from here you can adjust your 3D settings and then you can you see here it's working fine and then I will uh, I'll download a game and then I will come back and I'll show you the performance of it okay so here I am playing Battlefield 3 which is a very which is known to be a very uh, high-end game to play here I am on low settings in very playable frame rates I don't know the actual console command to draw the FPS I tried playing around with it to see what it was but I'm getting at least 30 I play on a gaming com I have an actual gaming computer so I know what it looks like to have uh, less than 30 it's got that tank there see there's like trees everywhere not lagging, it's very playable, so this this is what we were going for. If I can but yeah you can see here looking it out across this map, everything's working. You try right now we're on low settings, so I'll try everything on medium and see what happens. See not everything is on medium. I, I'd say we're probably we're still we're getting significantly less. Still, it's still working through. Still playing the game. Oh, that's a tank. But uh, yeah, I think for something like this, I'd still keep it on low. I might play around. I'll be uploading some more videos showing what what uh, games it can play, what games it can't, what games you need, what games can have high settings, low settings, medium settings. I'll upload all that in a second video if I have the time. And so, and I'll actually be putting the actual FPS on the screen next time. This is just to show you that it will work. That you that old computer that probably couldn't even play Minecraft before. Like this computer could not play a game like Minecraft or Counter Strike. Those games that you just think that any computer could play, this game could not play. And here it is, and now here it is, running a game, a, a super intensive game like Battlefield 3. Where do you get? This is the 8800. This was 30 30 dollars. I'll post some links in the description of what I got, uh, and what I would get if I was on, say, an AMD, like if your computer is AMD based, like this is an Intel computer, I'll show you what to get for an Intel computer and what to get for an AMD based uh, system. AMD is a little bit harder because they have so many different, uh, so many different slots. You have to make sure you get, you're getting the right one. So Intel is pretty straightforward about it. But, but yeah, I'll be posting some links on what you should get. I'd highly recommend this graphics card. As you can see right now, it's running very smoothly. If anything, I think would be slowing it down. I would say the motherboard itself would be probably the biggest hindrance. But uh, I will post some uh, additional gameplay. And you can look for the links in the description. 
for what you should get. This is a this is a uh, Dell Inspiron 530 computer. Normally, if you can find the uh, if you can figure out which processor you have, which is very easy to do by by the way, then you can actually. Uh, then you can figure out what socket pros uh, you have based off of that. So, this has been another put together by Iceman.